I'm here with Dr. Bridget O'Brien of Texas Breast Specialist, a part of Texas Oncology, to discuss the emotional and personal decision around reconstructive surgery and the Go Flat movement. Hello, Dr. O'Brien. How are you doing? Great. Thanks for having me. How are you? I am great. I think it's awesome that you're here to talk about some of the decisions that people have to make when it comes to uh, whether or not they should get reconstructive surgery or go flat. Mm -hmm. I think that um, it's a big topic right now, and women come into my office, first of all, you know, just um, upset about the cancer diagnosis in the first place, and then having to decide what to do about it beyond just getting it out. Um, so it is a big decision and um, sometimes difficult to process because there are a lot of moving pieces and very complex in deciding whether you want tissue-based reconstruction using your own tissue or implant-based reconstruction. If so, what kind of implant? And um, then there's also the option to not have any reconstruction and just be flat. So what are some of the questions and concerns that you hear the most when you're talking to patients? I think the biggest thing is um, we used to not offer the reconstruction at the same time, so some people are not aware that we can now do the breast cancer surgery in combination with the plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. um, they want to know what they can expect afterwards. Uh, some women may not know that there might be some numbness mm -hmm. or lack lo loss of sensation mm -hmm. after the surgery. Um, can they keep their nipple? Mm -hmm. um, what would an implant feel like, look like? And uh, where will the incisions be? So all of those things are really important questions to ask the physician and the plastic surgeon. Uh, just thinking about it, that feels like such a hard decision to have to make. You know what I mean? Not only are you going through um, having cancer, but also what am I going to do? These have been a part of my body, you know what I mean, my entire mm -hmm. life. What am I going to do? Am I going to go flat? Am I going to get reconstructive surgery? Um, what are some of the steps that um, you have taken with your patients to ultimately guide them to that decision as far as what they should do? I think the um, first thing would be to think about uh, how you feel about the, your breasts. Some women have an attachment to them, some women do not at all. Um, what your lifestyle is like, some women may not be able to take the time off of work or not want to, may be busy at home with children and not have the time to do the multiple surgeries that might be necessary for reconstruction. Um, also, how advanced is your cancer? Sometimes we can have complications after mm. a reconstructive surgery and that might delay the necessary cancer treatments afterwards. So we want to take those things into consideration too. Have you found that there have been people who have decided to get reconstructive surgery and then been like, you know what, I don't want these anymore, I want to go back to being flat? Or is it usually once people make their decision to either, you know, go flat or have surgery, they're, they're kind of set in their decision? I think it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. I have some women that may decide originally to go flat, they were busy with other things, and then later say, you know what, I would like to have reconstruction. Can you please send me to someone to help me with that? And then other times you have women that have had a reconstruction, um, tissue-based or implants, as more often with implants and, and might decide that they no longer want them for various reasons or may not be happy with the outcome and may want to have a uh, revision of that. Well, I think it's absolutely wonderful the work that um, you and your team are doing over at uh, Texas Oncology, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you. For more information, visit TexasOncology.com. Find them on Facebook at Texas Oncology, or to discuss your options, call 512-260-6050. Well, we have some furry friends in the studio.